Monday morning, deadline day in many respects, NHL trading day, deadline day, and RRSP deadline day. Did you make your contribution? Well, joining us right now, the author of this book, Well Healed, Leslie Ann Scorgi, financial writer. Good morning to you, Leslie. Thanks for being here. And are you surprised at the procrastination happening among Canadians again when it comes to making last minute contributions? You know, I'm not surprised at all because every year it happens. We have a race to the bank, elbows up, people trying to get appointments to open up their RRSP account. The great thing is that if you already have an account, you can usually contribute online and don't have to run to the bank like everyone else. If you don't have an account, then, then you're in the queue trying to get an appointment today. I think the whole reason behind Canadians um, procrastinating is because they're just simply not comfortable with their investment choices, or perhaps they don't know the benefits that are associated with RRSPs, and so they wait and wait until the last minute when they read an article, and they fi figure it might actually be suitable for them to save money on their taxes, and so then they then they race to the bank. But really, there should not be any procrastination. It's it's up to you, the investor, um, and the RRSP. RRSP contributor to learn a little bit about what you're investing in, get more comfortable so that you can make better choices earlier on in the year. So when we talk about better choices and benefits, if someone's racing to make that contribution before the deadline today, what is the smartest strategy? If you know you want the tax refund in the end, but you're not sure where to put the money, what do you suggest for people going out there and making that contribution today? Well, it's really important to um, make a contribution, and if you're not sure, you can in, you can contribute in cash, and then later next week or the week after, you can actually sit down with an investment advisor and decide where to put the money. But what's most important today is that you actually make the contribution in cash into the account. Next step, of course, would be to sit down and determine what investments are suitable to your risk tolerance. And we know from the financial planning community that the best way to invest is to ensure that what you're investing in matches your personality type. So if you're a risk taker, you would want to be in more risky investments. If you're less of a risk taker, then less risky investments will be suitable. But that's where a professional financial advisor or a personal money coach can be very helpful. GIC, definitely a good way to go. Park it for 30 days and then decide which way you're going to invest long term with the money. I like that. Uh, time and time again, we hear this RRSP or TFSA. What are the important points to consider when making this decision with the contribution? I think it's a really simple analogy. The RRSP are like the basic components to your outfit. You have to have, you know, pants or a skirt on and a blouse or shirt on in order to be a functioning member of society or else you'll get sent home from work if you show up naked. The, the TFSA is like the accessories to that outfit. So the fancy boots, the nice jewelry, maybe the watch, the tie, etc. So when we think of our, our choice between the two, they're both very useful tools, but the most powerful tool, the basic tool, is the RRSP, in my opinion. And that's simply because the contribution limits are much higher and the tax advantages are quite significant, especially early on in your career when you really, really need to save money on taxes so that you can use that money to pay off debt or continue to grow your investment portfolio. Some important things to consider right there. Leslie Ann Scorgi, thanks for calling in and doing this for us. Thanks, Riaz. Author of Well Healed and Rich by 30. Interesting insights right there. Deadline day for your 2014 tax year in case you want to make a last-minute contribution.